In this video, I'm going to attempt to solve the problem on this washing machine. The issue is, as you can see, there is water still in the tub. And what is happening here is you say, uh, say you say spin, start, and it's just stuck. And it makes a funny sound. It's like tick. And if you wait here long enough, eventually you'll get an error. And the error is, I think it's H11. Okay, make sure it's unplugged. As you can see, there we go, it's unplugged. And we're gonna open up this back panel. Alright, I'm just removing the hot and cold tap so I can get underneath the washing machine. Alright, right, so as you see, I released that. The water is spilling everywhere. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm sticking my finger where the pump is. Now obviously the, the power is off and I can feel the impeller here and there's a little um look a little long I won't say blade, but it's like an impeller here. An impeller is a um plastic or steel little flap that spins in order to get the water out. So what would happen is this, um, what do you call this? This uh, transformer here is probably connected to some sort of motor and it actually rotates a, a little impeller and then that's supposed to pump the water out into this tube. And when I put my finger in here, I can actually feel that this thing can't spin. Something has gotten in here and is blocking one of these little blades. So it's actually not spinning. It's, it's something is stuck here. So I've got to open this fitting here to find out what is stopping this little motor uh, from from uh, from actually what's what's causing it to to not spin and that's why the water is not uh, actually exiting this drum so i'm now going to open this motor and have a look and see what's going on there Okay, it's just four screws here. At the back, they're shorter screws. Uh, let's just see here. It's a long one, so all the ones on the front are long screws. And there's probably still one at the back here. Okay, that's a long one. And here we go, and I'm sure water will come up. There we go. Right. Is there anything blocking this thing? Yes, here we go. So look what came out. What seems to be a rivet. This is the head of a rivet. So that's obviously was stuck in there. Let me see if there's anything else. No, that, that seems like it. So now I can close it. So just to sum up. I put my finger in there, which effectively was I was pushing on these. And as I said to you, this thing didn't want to turn. This is the 
Limpella. So what was probably happening is this rivet was probably jammed there, and that's why it was actually uh, not uh, not spinning, therefore not causing the water to come out. So now I can install this thing back just to inspect the little rubber little rubber um, uh, washer there. Okay, just clean it here before you install it back. Uh, reinstall it, just clean it. Just dry it. Okay, just make sure it's dry. Dry inside there. Okay, and now we just put it back the way it was. just having a look underneath there's the motor there in the corner and you can see the the water will drain through here there's the little impeller there's the uh, where it's going to connect to the pipe and there's the uh, drive belt connecting to the motor the clutch system all right so getting back to the repair now I'm now just going to fasten any wires that I've loosened Right, and then I just have to put this back on there and close up, and I'll test it. There we go. Okay, now just reconnect everything. This is just hand tight. It's just hand tight. Don't try with tools here, otherwise you'll break it. All right, now I'm just gonna put the pipe in the basin and plug it in. Right, so now I'm gonna take it straight to the spin. Let's see. Spin, start. And there we go. The impeller is working and it's emptying the washing machine. And the uh, washing machine is fixed. Right, so the fault on this washing machine was a little rivet which got caught in the impeller. Uh, probably, probably was in the pocket of whoever was using it, like myself. And it went through these little filters and into the impeller. So Bottom line, the impeller was blocked, unblocked it, you're done. Hope this was informative. Thanks for watching. Cheers.